It's Thursday morning. It's 9 a.m. I want to start with this one. We haven't done this in a while. Whoa, we're going to change things. One by one, rearrange things. Filling up a bucket seems like a small, small thing, but it has the power to change the world. Let's go over these signs. Change, it's like that. Change, thing, things. You got a bunch of things. One by one, again, arrange. Rearrange. So you bring one hand over like this, rearrange. That's put things in their place. Rearrange things. Filling up a bucket. You got your bucket where you keep all those good feelings. Filling up a bucket. And you're filling somebody else's bucket by saying nice things, doing kind things. Filling up a bucket seems like a small, small thing. Saying hello, waving at somebody, smiling at somebody. It seems so small, doesn't it? But it has the power. Take a lightning bolt and stick it in the ground. It has the power to change the world. Want to change the world? We have the power every minute, every hour. Take a look around. What do you see? Lots of people like you and me. Took folks teasing Tiana, picking on Juan, laughing at Lexi, leaving out Sean, ragging on Ryan, pushing around Dwight, making fun of Molly. It's just not right. Whoa, we're going to change things. One by one, rearrange things. Filling up a bucket seems like a small, small thing, but it has the power to change the world. Dipping buckets, that's not fair. On the bus, the playground, everywhere. Too much worry, too much fear. Want to change the world? It starts right here. By not joining in when others dip, catching ourselves when we start to slip. A person in trouble needs a friend. We know what to do. We step right in. Whoa. -ho -ho. We're going to change things, one by one, rearrange things. Filling up a bucket seems like a small, small thing, but it has the power to change the world. Take my hand, come along, we're all connected, we all belong. Let's make this world a better place to be. Whoa. We're gonna see if you can do it with me. Whoa, we're gonna change things. One by one, rearrange things. Filling up a bucket seems like a small, small thing, but it has the power to change the world. It has the power to change the world. It has the power to change the world. Yes, it does. Woo, let's see. Good morning, Raina Rose. And let me see, Penelope and Natalie and Christine still love to do the sign language. Yes, I love, I love that song. Thank you. And let's see what does Wanda say. Thank you for playing on the day you were born two weeks ago. My grandson, Ryder James, was born on the 19th. My son played that part of your concert when he was less than one hour old. Oh, my God. <gasps> wow, how cool is that? Good morning, Leo and Melissa. Yay, baby Felicity and you are watching. Okay, Austin, hello. Oh, from Austin, Kendra from Austin. Atlee and Sol Sole from Toronto. So nice to see you guys. Happiness, okay. Well, yesterday was a big day at our house because, I don't know, how, how many of you have dogs? If you have a dog, we love our dogs, don't we? And they eventually get to a place where they need a bath. You know, they start feeling a little, uh, 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 when you rub your hands in their fur and give them a nice back rub. It starts feeling, a, so yesterday was Noah's bath day. I don't have any pictures from his bath day, but let me just show you a quick thing of Noah. Here's Noah. That's Noah. He looks pretty clean there. <laughs> yes, that's the Noah boy. Okay, so yesterday, actually, I took this. Is this this morning? Hold on a second. 
There he is. There's the Noah. Ha. This is from this morning. I took this this morning. He's fresh and clean, all clean. We gave him a bath. It's so funny about dogs when you give them baths. They don't want to have the bath. I mean, it's kind of, I suppose, a little um, demoralizing to be in the bathtub and have your fur all get, you know. You, Noah is all fluffy, but when you wet him down, he just looks like, you know. But then he goes outside and he's clean. He's running around like a crazy dog. He's so happy. Anyway, so in honor of Noah's bath yesterday, we're going to do this. We wrote this song years ago. We didn't have a dog then. We lived in West Hollywood and in an in a upstairs apartment and we couldn't have a dog. So we go to the park and make friends with dogs. Doggy, why don't you come over here? Come here, doggy. Doggy, why don't you come over here? I want to play with you and when we're through I'll scratch you behind the ears. Doggy, why don't you come over here? So the first thing a dog comes up, he goes, Start sniffing you all over, doggy. When you sniff, I wanna sniff. Doggy, when you sniff, I wanna sniff. Anything new comes by you, you take a great big whiff. Doggy, when you sniff, I wanna sniff. And then if he likes you, he says, doggy. Lick me just like I lick a popsicle on a stick. Doggy, when you lick, I want to lick. Doggy, when you sleep, I want to sleep. Doggy, when you sleep, I want to sleep. You lay in the sun where it's nice and warm in a great big furry old heap. Doggy, when you sleep, I want to sleep. Doggy, when you bark, I want to bark. Woo, woo. Can you bark? Doggy, when you bark, I want to bark. Woo, 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 woo. Chase that cat up the tree and all around the park. Doggy, when you bark, I want to bark. Woo. said her dog just howled along. Oh, bravo. What's the dog's name, Kendra? So we can all applaud him, her, him or her. Oh my gosh. So sweet. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have here? We just want to say hello to everybody. Atlee and Soleil, we got you guys. Happy day. It's a beautiful sunny day in Wisconsin, says Karen Marie. Dawn says, oh, no, no, Nivea. 
Her mom has COVID. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Dawn. Um, Rose, hi. Oh, thank you. Uh, Cora, hi. Kendra, may, well, we can try. Let's see. Um, 36, my, this is what Roberta wrote. My 36-year-old daughter loved this song when she was a toddler. She insisted we play Rolling Along cassette every bedtime at night. Every, yeah. She loves singing Dog Along with you. Ah, Eight Track is your dog's name? That's a, that's a cool name for a dog. Eight Track. <laughs> Eight Track. Good morning from Hackett. Yes, Jolene and Mrs. Mrs. Hall from Hackett. Hello, you guys. How are you today? Do you guys have dogs? Anybody have dogs? Raise your hand if you have a dog. Yeah. Who has cats? We don't have a cat at our house. I'm a little allergic to cats, but yeah. Cats are cool too. Yes. Hey, Stacy. Happy. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Um, let's do this one. We haven't done this in a while. So, can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see. All right, so that's what you have to do. You have to try and sound like me. Let's see if you can do it. All right. And then you have to try and land on the word C at the same time I do. All right, hang on just a sec. I have to change something here. Right. You, 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 you guys keep hearing all the clicks when people write wonderful notes, but you don't need to hear the clicks. Okay, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see. Okay, here we go. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Uh. <sighs> yo, yo, yo. Ooh, you, you. Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see. La 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 la! <gasps> oh yeah! Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see! All right, you've got them all so far, so let's see if you can do the tricky ones. Skip diddly dip. Okalaka suliabaka. Obadiba diddly oleo. Piddly biddly bum shoe. Oomplipa pinkapa pumpkin. Can you sound just like me? You know, you sound just like me. Yes, sirree. Shoo-wee! It's easy! <laughs> Can you sound just like me? Yay! Okay, thank you, Anthony. Liam and Argos. Argos! Their dog from Humboldt. Ah, uh, yay, that's beautiful country. Yes, and uh, Mona says both cats and dogs, yes. Oh, you have both cats and dogs, lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? Where's my folder? Oh, here it is, over here. Just a sec. <clears throat> I thought it was time to read some poems this week. And I went through, 
I have this big folder of poems that my late wife Kathy wrote. These are from way back in 1989. Let me show you a picture. <clears throat> this is about this for this is from about that time. That's Kathy and that's Andy and we're at the beach in this picture and she's tickling Andy. Yeah. Uh, great mom, great wife, Kathy. Anyway, she would write these poems. She set herself a challenge to write poems, every, write a poem every day for like three months she did at the end of 1989 and the beginning of 1990. <clears throat> and this is one of the ones that she wrote. It's called, Hello Dad. Dirty socks, sweet with sweat. If you want to get your dad, they're the best weapon yet. When he reads the paper, creep up very slow. Wad your socks and fire one at his nose. He'll probably yowl and howl and hoot. And while he's carrying on, fire sock number two. Tell your brother or sister to get down on the floor and get ready to give you sock three and sock four. It won't take very long from the first hit or two for your tired old dag to fire socks back at you. At this point, you'd better dive and scramble. You'll be big, big trouble if you run out of ammo. You'll be dead in the water if you give him some space. He may ditch his shoes and rub his socks in your face. <laughs> socks, feet, the smell of feet. It's kind of a wonderful thing, actually. Yeah. I would always pick up my boy's feet, you know, and go, and then fall over like I just died. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's another one from December 1989. Beginning. I set a goal to read a book. I opened it to take a look. I turned the first page over and then, before I knew it, I read the end. You know, that's happened sometimes. You, you don't, you just think you're going to start something and before you know it, you just got so deep, you just couldn't stop. And before you know it, it's the end. <laughs> and this last one, it's called Music, Music. Music, music in the air. Music, you are always there. Up in my room, under my desk, I have piles of you at your best. Whenever I am sad or blue, I can always turn to you. And when I think I'm as happy as I can get, you take me even higher yet. I know that you'll be there for me, your words, your rhymes, your melodies. Music, music, I love you. You understand my every mood. Music, music, in the air. Music, you are always there. Hmm. Just three poems from Kathy this morning. Yay. <sighs> yep. Hey, Liesl from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> we had good sock fights in our house. And tickle fests. Yep. Well, let's see. Oh, I have to share something with you. I discovered a new book. Okay, moms and dads and teachers. This is for you guys. Um... This book, let me see, can you see it? Braiding Sweetgrass, if you haven't, I've been listening to it on uh, Audible. This book, oh, I gotta tell you, this woman, Robin Wall Kimmerer, she um, has native background, but she also got her PhD in botany. 
the way she she weaves these two things together oh what a it's restorative really restorative so i just had to share that with you because it's so magnificent i just love listening to her voice reading these um reading her book it's it's truly magnificent okay i had to share that with you let me see let's do this one and you know what i I'm, i want to do this other song hang on in honor, let me show that picture again. In honor of this magnificent work called Braiding Sweetgrass, I want to sing this song. It's a book that just puts you back in touch with your connection to nature. And so, and so I want to do this. I was trying to think, I was so moved by what I heard yesterday in that book that I wanted to do a song that would remind me of the magnificence of nature. And this is what I, I said, oh, I can sing that one. So I know this is a favorite of Leslie's. So this is for you, Les, and for everybody. <laughs> Just a second of a place. Even, yeah, you little guys. Think of where you like to go. Maybe the sun shines in a special place. Where the flowers speak to you in some some part of your yard or in a park where you go. Or there's a creek that runs. Maybe you went camping one time. If you haven't gone, you should try that. It's really wonderful. And you took a hike in the mountains. Anyway, this is one of my memories where I know that the universe is alive and well. Mockingbirds sing your songs to me in a hundred different melodies Pour out your heart with all your might It's the sound of pure delight Mockingbirds sing your songs to me Swept up in your reverie Reminding me a singer too what I am here to do You find the highest place to sing And start reminding everything Of miracles, both big and small Alive and well inside us all Happy. 
be. Mockingbird. It just, it just fills our backyard with beautiful sound. Yay, let's see. Okay. Well, everybody got your fingers going? Ready? I like to take my fingers and pretend they're butterflies. They go flutter, 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 flying up into the sky. Sometimes I land them on my arm or rest them on my knee. Then they go flutter, flutter, flutter up and down in front of me. I like to take my fingers and pretend they're fish of gold. They go swishy, 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 they're slippery to hold. And when I sometimes catch one, I know he won't stay long. He goes swishy, 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 right back where he belongs. I like to take my fingers and pretend they're slithering snakes. They go hissing, 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 climbing hills and swimming lakes. But my snakes are very friendly when they go slithering by because when they're hissing, 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 they're really saying, hi. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> well, let's see. Um, I, might not... I woke up with this song in my head. Wait a minute, let me see. Hold on, what do I have to find it? Because I want to make sure I get this right. Hold on. Okay. I have to find it. It's actually a very simple song. Let me see if I can find it here. So, I wrote this song a while ago. Actually, I wrote it. I set myself a challenge where I had to write a song every day for five days. And this was one of the songs that came out. And I really like it. And sometimes things happen that make us change the way we're doing things. Maybe we get sick, or maybe we have to move and make new friends, or maybe, um, what else? Different things, or, or sometimes maybe a grandma or grandpa passes over into the next world. Our lives, our lives change sometimes. And I just woke up with this song in my head. I'm gonna put a capo. This is a capo. Can you see this? You stick this on your guitar and it changes the key that you're singing in. It's a really useful thing. Change is hard. It takes apart a world we thought we knew and leaves instead a life outspread for the future to walk through keeps us going ever growing closer to the truth of who it is we really are change can be a chance to see what else God has in mind Presenting possibilities There'd be no other way to find Different choices, different voices Different melodies To sing inside our souls Sometimes when change happens around us, we 
think it's like the world's over. It's not. It just means you have to be open to new situations, new opportunities. It's hard to see that at first sometimes. I've been around a while on this planet. 69 years. Yeah. And um, I've learned that everything takes me somewhere I need to go. So I'm going to do it one more time. Change is hard. It takes apart a world we thought we knew. Instead, a life outspread for the future to walk through keeps us going, ever growing closer to the truth of who it is we really are. Change can be a way. God has in mind Presenting possibilities There'd be no other way to find Different choices, different voices Different melodies To sing inside our soul So see what see what the day has in store for you today. I don't know what it is. It's bringing you something you need. Yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, Christine. Yeah. Mm. Lots of changes always. It's one thing that we know for sure is going to happen. Things are going to change. So if we're open to what they bring us. It can make it easier. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Thursday, okay? I love you guys. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah.